Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Priscilla. I'm the owner of A Life Full Simplicity. Today is the first video to kick off my spooky month. So today I will be flipping through the Wild Unknown Tarot and Deck and Guidebook. So I got this deck back in 2019, like early 2019. It was actually the first tarot deck that I ever bought myself. Um... So I'm really excited to actually flip through it, but also the fact that it's the first video of this month, which I find really funny because the last video of this month is a newer deck that I got. So we're starting off with the old and we're ending with the new. So I really love that. So it is a big thing. It is a gift box set, as you can see in the back. This is published by um, Harper One and it's by Kim Kranz. So it does retail for $50 in Canada and $40 in the US. Though in the US you can find it on sale often in my opinion. Um, it comes with um, a big box, the sleeve, inside there's a smaller box with the cards and then the guidebook. So. Let's see. So yeah, full color, uh, 200 page guidebook. The guidebook I believe is black and white. So it says the Wild Unknown Tarot is a modern tarot classic, a magical journey of self-discovery illuminated by symbols and archetypes of the natural world. For the first time in this box set brings together the deck and guidebook in one lavish edition. Designed by artist and author Kim Kranz, uh, tap into higher truths and universal mysteries through the intuitive wisdom of the Wild Unknown Tarot. Now, I wanted this to be the first deck because while it's not Halloween based, it is uh, has like darker tones in my opinion. Some of the cards can be darker, and I do love that about this deck. It's what attracted me to it to begin with. So just to let you know, there are a lot of bootlegs of this deck on the market. So this is the only true version on the market uh, for the big one. And then I believe at the end of this month, there will be a mini tin deck coming out. So if you wanted to get that, there's also that version. But this one only comes in this deluxe box set. So it looks like this. It opens with a hinge. Inside, it says, may you always be on your inner quest. We have a ribbon here to take out the book. So book. And then we have the box of the cards. It's really stuck in there. Ugh. I'm going to have to do this because it's really stuck. Okay. Oh. This ribbon is very long. And then inside there's just like the infinity sign. So typically this outer box with the sleeve I have in a drawer because it's rather big. And I usually display um, the box with the cards and the guidebook. The guidebook. Um, on my shelf. So these are displayed along with the other two decks that I have by her because I do have her oracle decks as well so this is what it looks like on the back nothing written this is the front of the box which is the same as the sleeve I did put the cards back in order um, just for the sake of this flip through so you can actually see them how they came so in the box, it says, welcome to the wild unknown tarot. You'll find no wrongs or rights inside this box. Only mirrors for reflection. Open your mind, draw a card and have fun on your journey. So I will set aside the cards. There is a ribbon. And it is a two piece hard box. So it's, it's very hard. So let's go through the guidebook first. The guidebook is big. It is nicely bound. 
Uh, it's not hardcover per se, but it is really nice. All right, let's just move that there. Maybe move the cards on this side. I have some room. So there is a table of contents. So we have understanding of the deck, the major, the minor. We have a reading the cards. So getting uh, readings, what to ask, shuffling, cutting, spreads, reverse cards, uh, last thoughts. Then we have the uh, minors and majors, like the definitions. So just to let you know, there are no reversals in this deck, which to me is fine. So just to let you know, you can still use reversals, of course. Like, it's your deck, you do you. I personally don't use reversals with this deck because I don't care. So the for the Major Arcana, it says, known as the tra Tarot's Trump Cards, the 22 Major Arcana cards signify a complete journey of the psyche. So they are the archetypes we carry within ourselves. The characters are themes that hold us back and set us free. Uh, these cards usually indicate deeply rooted issues within our lives. And uh, the journey of the Major Arcana begins with the Fool number zero and ends with the world numbered uh, 21. So it says, take your time getting to know the 22 cards. They are extremely powerful and should not be taken lightly in your readings. And then for the Minor Arcana, it says, together the suits of wine, wand, sorry, wands, cups, and swords and pentacles make up what's called the Minor Arcana. And there are 14 cards within each suit. Cards uh, numbered 1 through 10 usually point to a situation or quality you're experiencing. And the 11th through 14th cards, known as the court cards, often represent an actual person in your life. Minor Arcana cards help bring depth and complexity to a reading, giving context uh, to the more dominant Major Arcana cards. You'll find more about the characteristics that define each of the four suits in the following pages. And then it goes into the different suits, which is very typical information. So I will let you pause and read if you'd like. And then it talks about the court cards. So they do, she does rename the page and knight to daughter and son, just to let you know. And then she does give you um, actual keywords for the families. Because she calls them families. And then it goes into reading the cards. So we have getting readings, what to ask, shuffling, cutting. I don't cut my deck, so whatever. There's a single card reading. We have the past, present, future. There's also the who was I, who I am, who I will be. Body, mind, spirit has options as well. We have a clarity spread. We have a connection spread. We have the Celtic cross, which I never use. And we have a year ahead spread, which I love. Then she talks about uh, reversals, that there's no reversals in the guidebook, but you can use them if you want. And then last thoughts. And then we go into the minors first. So the way it's structured is you have a black and white photo of the card, the name of the card, the keywords, and then the explanation of the card, what it means and stuff like that. So it's like that for every suit, just to let you know. Now for the majors, it's pretty much the same. You have the card here, uh, name, keywords, and then the explanation meaning of the card. 
So yeah, I will obviously pick a card at the end and read it from the guidebook. Oops, sorry. Um, that way you can see how it's read. So we start with the wands. So we have the Ace of Wands. Two of Wands. Three of Wands. Four of Wands. I do love this deck because it's primarily black and white and does have like pops of color. These are the backs, by the way. They're black and white. They kind of look like a snakeskin, in my opinion. Also, they are good cardstock, in my opinion. They're matte. I do really love the cardstock that they used. This is probably my favorite one card. The nine. So pretty. It might be pippish, but you definitely get that feeling of overwhelm. Like overwhelming feeling from this card. Even though it's like pippish. This is the page. So the family of wands are snakes. So each family is a different animal. Mother. Oh yeah, I forgot. She actually did rename um, the king and queen. It's mother, father. She made them like as if they're a family. Then we have the Two of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Four, the Five of Cups. This really does look like, it looks like the horse is sad. So you get that sense of like grief, loss from this card, even though again, it's pippish. This is probably my favorite cup card. Love it. The moon and the sun. I really love these cards. The daughter. So it's swans uh, for the cup family. We have these swords. We have the Ace of Swords. Two of Swords. Three. I really like this because it's not traditional where the swords are in a heart. So I do like this because it's different. I'm also kind of tired seeing the heart all the time. So... <laughs> I love this card, the rest card. It's so beautiful with the little lamb. This card creeps me out with the worms. I'm just like, ew, gross. Definitely get that sly, sneaky feeling with the fox. Like, I really love this. I find this card so beautiful with the butter, with the uh, butterfly. Oh my god, this card too creeps me out. Ugh. 
but I love it just the same. This one's so scary and so sad. Mm. The family are owls for the swords. I love that. You really get that air feeling from them too. And the sun. And they're all like different owls. Which is super nice. And I love that very much. This owl. He's, he has like these feathers here. But they look like eyebrows. <laughs> I love it. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Love this. The four. Five. Yeah, I love that. It's really lovely. I love that there's minimal color in this. It's mostly red. You have a bit of brown. It's nice. Then we have the six, the seven, the eight, nine, and ten. Look at that color, though. You can definitely tell that this is like a happy card with all the colors. And deer are the... Um, family of pentacles which makes sense very earthy I do love that look at this mama and baby so cute I love it now we're going into the majors so we have the fool <laughs> the magician so she kept the traditional uh, where you have all the symbols for the suits and then you have like the um, infinity sign. Love this high priestess. We have the empress here. Emperor. The hierophant. I love this hierophant because it's um, it's like a raven or a crow with a key, and it makes sense because they're usually associated with knowledge and wisdom. Chariot, justice. So justice here is eight instead of strength, and yeah, so strength and justice are switched. So strength is actually eleven. Which is more of a thought thing. Hermit is my favorite. Absolutely love the hermit. Look how cute. Freaking turtle. The lantern on his back. Here's the strength card. Very typical, you know, a lion. Hangman is a bat, which I love. Then we have death. Very creepy also. We also have Temperance, which is nice. I love the Devil card in this deck. Look how cute he is. <laughs> He's so cute. I find him to be so cute. With his little flaming, flaming feet. Little flaming hooves. <laughs> the Tower. The Star. The moon. We have the sun here. We have judgment. And lastly, we have the world. So I'm going to shuffle everything. So I love the way this deck shuffles. I find that it shuffles like a dream. It's great. Absolutely fantastic. I 
Okay. So we have the Daughter of Pentacles. Okay, so I have my little easel here. Put the card on. We focus, there we go, perfect. We have the Daughter of Pentacles, which is the Page of Pentacles. Oh yeah, let's read this. Okay, Daughter of Pentacles, responsible, kind, supportive. You'll usually find the Daughter of Pentacles behind the scenes rather than out in the spotlight. Though quite shy, she's extremely hardworking and responsible. She handles details and logistics well. People depend on her. She has vast amounts of inner strength. Like all the Pentacles family, the daughter thrives when in nature. So that's what it says. Very simple to the point. I do like this. I like the keyword. Yeah, so you can usually just build upon like the... Um, the different, you know, keywords that are there with a responsible, kind, and supportive. So I really like the keywords. You don't always have to go based on, like, what it says here, you know? And that's what I like. But I like it. It's short. It's to the point. You could always expand if you really want to based on your own, you know, opinion of things and what you think. So, yeah. So that was the flip through of the Wild Unknown Tarot. I do thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on that bell to be notified every time I post a brand new video. This month will have a lot of content for Spooky Month. So I do hope that you join me on this journey and enjoy. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it's greatly appreciated. So thanks so much and I hope you have a great day.